Hello everyone, uh, I'm Darío. It's more easy for you, I'm from Spain, to speak in English or in Spanish? English. It's the same. Okay. Well, uh, there's a lot of people today. Well, I show a presentation about uh, streaming services, focus the traffic on the streaming, and using the QoS of MicroTik. This is a little introduction of myself. I'm Darío Novera, I'm from Spain. I'm an official marketer trainer. I have a lot of experience with MicroTik about 10 years ago. Uh, I, love the, I have been working a lot of companies in IT areas, networking areas. Uh, nowadays, I work at Lovken. Lovken is a master distributor in Spain. Um, with him, we do the trainings on Spain. If someone don't understand something, please stop me. Well, this is a little introduction of this presentation. It's talk about uh, streaming services. As you know, years ago, the streaming services are not more important, but nowadays is very important. Why is very important for the bandwidth? Yes, streaming services consumes a lot of bandwidth. Yes, my critique uh, will help us to solve these issues in different ways. I focus in three different techniques to detect traffic and to shape traffic. The future is coming. This is are uh, some lines or officials uh, brands about the future. Yes, it, this is only predictions, but this uh, say the rapid growth of video streaming services. There will be more internet traffic in 2022. Global IP traffic will increase threefold over the next five years. Smartpo smartphones traffic will exceed. PC traffic, uh, and globally, IP video streaming traffic will be 82% of all IP traffic. Yes, this is an important information for the future, yes. Here are some graphs, yes, about the years and the traffic on the world, and uh, for streaming, the standards, yes, video, standard, HD, and UHD, and the years, yes. This is the future, and the idea is to take on mind this, to control, maybe, or identify this kind of traffic and do something. Mangle for QoS. Anyone here use Mangle? No? Nothing? Okay, Mangle is a kind of marker that marks packets for future processing, yes. Mangle is a facility of MicroTik, yes, to identify some kind of traffic with a mark, yes. And additional, the Mangle facility is used to modify some files in the IP header, yes, like TTL or DSCP. Now, uh, I use Mangle only to identify traffic and apply with a QoS policy. These are the chains of Mangle, the default chains, input, forward, and output. And we have in Mangle two another uh, chains, per-routing and post-routing. Input to the router, forward through the router, and output from the router. And what about pre-routing? Before routing decision and post-routing after routing decision. Yes. This is important uh, to understand because if you do some wrong mark, the, the for example, QS don't work or work bad. Do you know this graph? Yes. Packet flow. Where mark, for example, traffic, mm, a person is, for example, watching YouTube. 
in the forward yes, chain. Why I mark on forward? Because the traffic is through the route. Yes. And I mark some information about an example, in interfaces bridge no, MPLS traffic no, it's IPv4 or IPv3 traffic yes. Chain forward, then no, out interface bridge no, and encapsulate no, and the traffic go out. Yes. This, in, this graph is uh, very important to understand. And what about another graph? This is like the graph inside the routing, yes. I have pre-routing, routing decision, forward, post-routing, and then the traffic go out here. This box is only for this section. Okay, QoS. We will perform an advanced QoS in the following way. Mark different uh, kind of traffic using Mangle and focus in the most relevant traffic. I use in this demo or in these presentations uh, L7, mark uh, connections and packets and address list. All is a uh, future zone microtic, yes. Anyone know what is L7? L7, inspect the packets, yes, uh, inside, in the height uh, layer of OC model, in the application, la application layer, <coughs> yes. But since the HTTPS traffic is encrypted, the L7 rules are often effective, yes, in addition to consume many resources. There's an, uh, another tip, L7 consumes a lot of resources. Of we have another way to achieve the same. Use TLS host option. TLS hosts, uh, host option is a new option in the firewall on Microtik that mark in before the case, for example, in HTTPS initiate, yes. And here are an example, yes. This is the mangle option, yes? I put the chain forward, protocol TCP, and in interface, and the I use in the advanced tab TLS host option, yes? What I put in TLS host option, googlevideo.com. I use my connection and a name, yes? This is the first rule that I use. What is the second rule? I use forward. I use the connection mark. What is this? It's a mark connection created before, yes? What is the action? Add to destination address list. I put a name and a timeout in this case, yes. At the moment, I have two rules. One for mark connection using the DLS host option and the other rule to add IP address in the address list. Then, have another rule, forward, protocol TCP in interface, destination address list, and mark connection, and finally, mark packet, yes. So, I mark connection for the IP address in the destination address list. And what is this address list? This. We create a new address list and then use this address list to mark the connections. TLS host considerations. TLS host match HTTPS traffic bus on TLS SNI. SNI allow to multiple HTTP sites eh, mm, to use the same IP address. All, uh, all HTTPS <coughs> traffic is encrypted, except for the initial connection. This is the option that uses TLS host option. If the TLS host name is broken across multiple packets, they doesn't work, yes? So, for example, if the traffic car fragments, don't work, yes. If you need more information about SNI, there are a link on the, for the week. Okay. 
L7. We use L7 only for some traffic content. L7 inspect the traffic on the highest level of the OC model in the application layer. This technique consumes more resource and requires more acknowledge of the type of traffic. And is recommend to use the least, the least uh, L7 rules because consumes a lot of traffic. I create only one rule for L7, yes? And this is the only rule I call the streaming. And I only put video playback and video. This is the only rule that I create with L7. If you have a more powerful router, maybe you create a lot uh, of, of rules. I have another uh, mark here. Forward TCP in interface, layer protocol I use. What is layer protocol? The rule created before this. I use mark connection and then mark packet. Why I use mark connection and then mark packet? To don't charge with uh, allow, uh, if I have, for example, a small router, if I only use mark packets, the router inspect all packet go through the router. Mark connection is different. They have with Mangle a mark, and the routers don't consume a lot of hardware. Yes, but there are uh, some tip. In this case, from YouTube, if you are using Google Chrome as your default browser, or maybe Opera, maybe TLS host option won't work. Why it won't work? Because YouTube introduced his new protocol called Quick. Quick works in UDP. We can add some rules for this case, and we can support this configuration using L7, Mangle, and Azure List. This is a, something interesting because a MicroTik will help us to solve this issue, for example. I have a new rule, but I use forward UDP, destination port, bridge, the layer seven uh, rule created before, and use mark connection or mark packet. What it is only for mark quick traffic, yes? And quick traffic if, for example, you show if you're, you are using uh, Google Chrome or Opera, yes? This is the final mangle, yes. But I show you this uh, marks in action. Yes, this is uh, the, the most important. I have this in my router. Yes, I use YouTube. For the other list, I used to mark the traffic, yes. This is the streaming rule, yes. This is the rule that used the L7 rule, yes. And this is quick. I have another mark, HTTP and HTTPS. It's only for HTTP and HTTPS traffic, yes. There are zero bytes, so the rule is not matching with nothing. Look now, I open a video in YouTube. Yes. Go to my router, and if you see now, we have traffic for the rules, yes? And what do you do, this, this kind of rules? Action, mark connection, <coughs> action, add to destination address list. Okay, I go to destination address list. See you now. You have the YouTube Google IP address for that video, yes. 
This is the first rule. And if I go to Mangle again, what about quick? Is working this rule? No, it's not working. Okay, well, I will try another I check YouTube. And the rule is now working. Yes? Why it works? Because if you remember, uh, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome used the quick protocol. So, and what happened? Why in the first rule is matching traffic? Because I use another browser, Safari. The Safari work with HTTPS. So with these rules, I mark all the YouTube traffic, for example. What about the streaming rule? Yes, there are a lot of streaming services now. Yes, one famous is Netflix. Something. Now streaming is work too. <coughs> yes. This is are the rules only for identify traffic. Yes, but I need do something later to uh, do something with this traffic. What I do now, I need to uh, limit this traffic. And go here. I use queues now. But what kind of queues? The queue tree. At the moment, we have all packet marks. We use dynamic address lists, mark connection, mark packets, and L7. Now we can make the queue tree with those marks. Yes, at the moment, I only identify this kind of traffic. But I need now to do something with these marks. Queue tree. Anyone use queue tree to limit traffic? Simple queues? Yes. Okay. Q3 will use Q3 to prioritize the traffic. Q3 needs the packet markings. All traffic is analyzed simultaneously, unlike the simple queue. And the idea for the Q3 is to prioritize this different kind of traffic. I focus only in on streaming traffic. HTV is a classful queuing method that that is useful for handle different kind of traffic. And Q3 works with HTV, yes. In Ruteros, it's uh, necessary to specify parent option to assign Q uh, like as a parent and child. The Q3 work with parents and child, yes. It's a uh, hierarchical structure, yes. And uh, in the structure, the childs are the queues that consumes traffic. The parents is only to distribute. What about PCQ? PCQ is per connection. Q is a queuing discipline that can be used to dynamically equalize or shape traffic to multiple users. In this case, uh, I don't talk about uh, a lot of PCQ, but only for distribute the traffic. Yes. PCQ have two options. Yes. Uh, if I use PCQ to upload traffic, I use source others. And if I use download traffic, I use destination others. And this is the design. Yes. 
I have a LAN, HTTPS traffic, I create a queue called video, and then three childs, streaming, YouTube, and quick. Yes. <laughs> we will create a queue tree according to the previous graphic along with its priority, uh, priorities and limits, yes. And I have different priorities to streaming, for example, streaming priority three and YouTube priority two. We, use, we will use the PCQ default queue, uh, queue type, and for practical reasons, I will focus only on download traffic, yes. And this is the queue. Uh, I can create for upload traffic if, if you want, but only for practical reasons I create on download traffic. Stop here. Where are PCQ and MicroTIC? Is in the Q section, yes. And I have the Q3 create, yes. Is now is uh, don't mark any traffic because uh, I don't play anything uh, on the browser, yes. But it's very easy to create this queue. I create a parent called Solan. In global, I use the PCQ, the default uh, download. I put a max limit only. Then I create a child for LAN and another child video. And a different child, but only for video, yes? And different priorities. Now I will show you uh, how to make this, but First, I will try if this queue is working. Yes. I do the same. I, for example, a video. And I have traffic here. I don't know what is the, the, the download bandwidth here. But I put, for example, here it's working, yes, because he puts on red or yellow. Yes, I put this limit to only content YouTube traffic. What about Quick? Quick is not working because uh, now I use Safari. If I use uh, Chrome, uh, Quick is working. But I will test too. Here, Quick is working now. Yes. Two queues are working now. What about another service? We try Netflix. Now it's working to the queue for streaming, yes. So all the queues are working with uh, pack, uh, packet marks, the mark connections, the L7 rule, and then works too with the Q3, yes. The Q3 have these packet marks in the child queues, yes. If you see, for example, quick, I use packet marks. The Q3 needs the packet marks to work. And I select the packet mark that created before. In this case, quick, here is streaming, and YouTube. Sorry, I can stop here. 
So, YouTube have his mark, the streaming, his mark, but uh, what about the parents? Yes, for example, video. I don't use packet mark, yes, because the parent is only to distribute, but the child needs the packet marks, yes. So, I have a final note. The L7 mark on streaming can take content from more streaming source, like Netflix, for example. Before create these rules, you need to perform a deeper analysis yes, of the network to make the best decision without affecting another service. In this case, I focus on YouTube, I focus on general traffic, streaming traffic like Netflix, and uh, use YouTube for quick and for HTTPS traffic. I use the TLS host options, yes. May I can use, for example, streaming L7 rule with YouTube? Yes, I, I, I do the, the same. But remember, L7 consumes very or oh, a lot of resource. So if you use TLS hops option, it's better to mark this kind of traffic. We could more specific using L7, but it consumes more resource. Check your router board hardware before use L7 rules. Yes. And what about the streaming services? Here are some streaming services. You know, YouTube, uh, Netflix, maybe is the most popular, but we have HBO, we have Prime Video. Microtik can uh, limit these uh, specific streaming services? The answer is yes. We can mark any streaming services. Uh, I don't have a lot of time for the presentation, but uh, maybe you can mark all different traffic. In my router board, I have another uh, mark, for example. Sorry. Prime. What is Prime? Prime Video. Yes. And if I have another streaming service, I do the same. Yes. If I go to, I will show you this, yes, Prime, I have different marks, yes. I use TLS host option two, yes. What is the action? My connection, then I my connection with another host, TLS, yes. Another, and another. Maybe I can use L7 rule. Yes, it's the same. And why I use, for example, address list and don't only mark uh, the packet? Because the IP address, look, maybe increase or change every time. So for fiber or if you have a small router, it's more better uh, use address list and not a lot of rules in the firewall or in Mangle, yes. So, this is all. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, anyone have any question? Yes. What is the duration that you can save on resources of using this kind of control versus the uh, you ask me why I use this and on. No, 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 no. Ah. How much can I say regarding the resources of the CPU on the uh, CCR, for example? L7, uh, as you know, inspect all the packet in, uh, in the application layer, yes. And this is uh, very heavy for a router. If I uh, use, for example, my connections, and more packets, it's more easy or more or less for the router. If I have 300 users, for example, ah, okay. using layer set, I want mm. to have a very nice router to be able to do it. But if I'm using this, can I save 
can I uh, comply with free and using it? Yes. Easily mm -hmm. on a, a maybe. Maybe uh, you need to check the hardware, but if you use this instead of seven, uh, sure, your resource go down or the micro go down, sure. Because all seven inspect all packets. It's the same like I, if I I don't use, for example, Mark connection. I use only Mark packets. The router inspects all packets. So try it, and sure, the the resource go. Uh, depends what uh, is the the mark. What uh, is 100 marks? I, I don't know why. If you have a lot of marks, uh, maybe we can talk uh, later. And you told me better, and I will try to help you. Yes. Okay. Hmm. I don't use in this case fast uh, tracking. Why I don't use uh, fast track? Because I use uh, many facilities like uh, firewall and uh, QoS. Yes, but you can use fast track, uh, but you pay uh, or pay attention with the mark and the issues that if you have with with fast track, because uh, in fast track if you use Q3 for example, in a wrong mark. Maybe don't work. Yes, fast track, uh, champ, for example, firewall, firewall rules, and you need to pay attention. But maybe you can use fast track with this. No questions. No. Thank you.